What's up, ladies and gents? I'm going to be talking today about 100 things to do in a lucid dream. Uh, now, before you panic and wonder why the video is so short, uh, I'm going to be talking about a book that I've created called 100 Things to Do in Dreams and why it's important to think about this. And instead of just focusing on like a couple of basic things that most people focus on with lucid dreaming, like flying, having sex, running around, uh, it's important to think about the possibilities instead of the most common things and the fun things, right? So let me explain it like this. When most people enter a lucid dream, either for the first time or the hundredth time, right, they'll always tend to do the same sort of things. And what I mean by that is they'll tend to do things like flying, like going around talking to dream characters, having sex, exploring the dream, which is all fine, right? These things are not a problem, okay? But there are so many more things you could be doing. It's, uh, it doesn't even bear thinking about. There's just so much you could be doing uh, other than that, that it's just crazy. And it blows my mind how so many people just don't even realise the potential and the possibilities uh, that there are with lucid dreaming. There are so many things you could do and so many different things you can experience that you would never have the chance to experience normally in waking life. Uh, but, you know, most people don't. And so let me give you a few examples, right? So the common things, running around, flying, having sex, they're the three most common things. Or, or fighting or, you know, whatever. Okay. But what about becoming an animal? Okay. What about becoming a, uh, an ant, for example, and spending a, a night of lucid dreams wandering around an ant colony and interacting with the other ants, right? This is something that you've never been able to experience in waking life unless you've been like hallucinating or something. Uh, but it's such a mind-blowing experience and it's so unique and there's just no other opportunity in life to have that sort of adventure, right? You can't just become an ant. This is something you can only do in a lucid dream or perhaps a video game, but I'm not aware of any video game that lets you do that. Okay, so what about uh, time traveling and interacting with the king of the future world or interacting with the king of Mars or something, right? What about entering a lucid dream and becoming a physical object, yeah? What about asking the dream itself? Because remember, the dream is a subconscious entity which you can interact with. It doesn't have to be just an environment. It can actually be a character in your dream. It can be something you interact with and have a back and forth conversation with, right? What about talking to the dream and saying, show me something surprising? You don't know what it's going to show you. It could show you anything. And that's the beauty of it. You don't know what the experience is going to be. It's a surprise. Okay. What about asking the dream to show you how a scientific principle works? What about asking the dream, show me how photosynthesis works, right? This is the process where plants gain energy and life force from the sun. They convert the energy from sunlight into the nutrients they need to survive and grow. Okay. It's an advanced or fairly advanced scientific uh, idea, right? It's a concept. What about asking the dream to show you that concept? Not just to show you on a whiteboard, but to physically put you into it. And that's the beauty of how lucid dreaming can, can do these sorts of things, right? It doesn't, it can't, it can do more than just tell you things. It can do things like put you, as in you the dreaming body, you the lucid dreamer, it can put you into the experience so you become the experience. And it's kind of hard to explain because this isn't something we've been able to do in waking life. We can't do that. In the classroom we can't do that on you know by reading a book or using an online course but with lucid dreaming you're able to to embody the experience you're trying to have right you're, you're trying to learn about photosynthesis or i don't know some space science some rocket science theory okay so you've been reading the books you sort of understand how it works ask the lucid dream to put you into that experience and you will become the experience so you could do this with like a chemical reaction uh with understanding how love works, understanding how attraction and attachment work in relationships, right? You can ask the lucid dream to show you these things directly and you'll have such a better understanding of the things because you actually experience them directly instead of just reading information through a book or something like that, okay? But it's amazing how many people didn't even consider these sorts of things. They just enter a lucid dream and treat it like a video game, which is fun and it's fine. It's not a problem, okay? It's definitely what I did as a beginner and it's definitely what lots of other people do.
but there are so many more things you could be doing. And that's why I wrote the book. So I'm just going to sort of leave this as a short introduction uh, for 100 things to do in dreams. I'm going to put the link in the description or I'm going to type it here uh, and you can go ahead and check that out. You can read like a free preview as well on Amazon. If you click look inside, you can sort of read uh, a bit about how the book works and how, what you'll learn from it and how you can use it. Uh, so I really hope that helps you guys. And uh, if you did enjoy the book, please leave a quick review on Amazon and email me letting me know what you thought because everyone I've shown this to so far has been amazed. They've been sort of wondering how they've never seen these things before and how they've never considered that you can use lucid dreaming for all these sorts of things and all these types of adventures and experiences which you otherwise would never have, okay? So I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you in the next video.